Outside Washington, D.C. this week, 1,700 people waited up to 11 hours overnight for a clinic to open. The clinic ran out of its supply of H1N1 vaccine in 90 minutes. The government promised 40 million doses of the H1N1 vaccine would be ready by now. Instead, just 13 million are available. Production is slow and the distribution is slow and the distribution is uneven. So it's not getting out into the field in a regular manner. Slow and antiquated, the production process for flu vaccines is half a century old. It starts with the CDC isolating the virus, which was done with H1N1 in May. This seed virus was then sent to the drug companies where it's injected into chicken eggs. The egg's nutrients provide the fuel for it to multiply. The virus is then extracted, purified, and turned into vaccines. Usually it takes nine months to develop a flu vaccine. We're trying to accelerate it to five to six months. New production methods have been developed that don't rely on this old-fashioned way, but they won't be approved until next year at the earliest. Well, there's resistance to change, especially in the pharmaceutical business. If the vaccines are making the drug companies targets for criticism, they're also making them a lot of money. Novartis, one of five companies making H1N1 vaccine, expects to make somewhere near a billion dollars from sales. Just like anything, anything that you want done last minute or rush, right, you, you end up paying for that at, 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 I wouldn't necessarily say a premium, but a fair market value. The government now hopes to have 50 million doses available a month from now and 150 million by December. That would cover the expected demand. The question is, in this race of virus versus vaccine, will December be soon enough? Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.